Andre Drummond can become a free agent, and it sounds like he expects to get offered a max contract extension. He told Vince Ellis of the Detroit Free Press, quote, with the work you put in, you should be rewarded for it no matter who you are. If it's me or even a rookie, everybody feels like they should make a maximum amount of dollars. Guys, BS or Real Talk, get the signs up. Three, two, one. Good. Oh, yeah. Who don't feel that? Who don't <laughs> feel like they should make a maximum amount of dollars? I mean, we all know your pro career is short-lived. I mean, some guys play two or three years, so you try to maximize your dollars. Period. If, if you're drumming, you better get every dollar you can right now because his game isn't really conducive in this moment in time in the league to being shooting offensively the way that the league is going. But let me say, when you see guys like, and I know these aren't max players, but they're very highly compensated players. Steven Adams, Rudy Gobert, uh, even a guy like Joel Embiid, who we like to think is a shooter, but you look at the numbers, his three-point shooting isn't that great at all. It, I kind of feel like we, we say, oh, bigs don't matter anymore, the game has changed. But I see these guys all around the league who are still playing in the paint. So is, it, is he a max guy in your eyes, Paul? The way the league is, he's a max guy for sure. Yeah. I mean, you got guys who come off the bench making 15, 20 million. <laughs> I mean, get his, he, is he, he, you, he's a max but we're guy. We're talking about 37, oh, 38 million. He league in rebounds. What? He gives you interior defense. He gives you a presence. In this league today, he's a max guy, 100%. I don't know how many teams are going to be lining up. I don't know who's going to give it to him. Yeah. But in, in theory, I see what you're saying. You know, in theory, is he a max the guy? Yeah, but is he actually going to sign on the right. dotted line for max money when the time comes? Hassan Whiteside was the other name I was trying to think of. Now, he is a max guy from his last contract. Exactly. Yeah, but is is he a max guy? Well, see, I, I think most people would take Andre Drummond over Hassan uh, Whiteside. In a right? heartbeat. So, so by, it, that, yeah. by that token, if I'm but Andre Drummond's agent. years ago with Whiteside. I mean, the – he. Drummond comes in at a bad time, mm -hmm. and sometimes timing is everything, and he doesn't have that on his side in the moment. All right, last up, Magic coach Steve Clifford said on the Jim Rome Show, when asked about Markel Fultz, quote, I think he's feeling better and better physically. He's going to be a big part of our team. Guys, BS or Real Talk, three, two, one. I'm just going to fan uh, myself here. Uh, I, I, whatever the, I, I, whatever the middle is on this, this one. man. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, how, how do you know? How do you know what Fultz is going to be? Nobody knows. That's why this yeah. thing is just going to spin until right, the end of right. the year. I want to believe, as somebody who grew up in Orlando, that Fultz can turn into the star everybody wanted him to become. I just don't have that confidence having seen what he's done in the league yeah, so I, far. You know, there's, there's an old saying... Fool, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. But fool me, you can't fool me again, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before you know, somewhere. The idea, the idea that, remember Marco Fultz, the, was it last year, came back in Philly, and they said, we're going to start him, and everyone was like, he's fixed, and he worked out all summer long. And then within a week or so, we were like, uh, no, it was just kind of that hype machine. So, Paul, yeah. are you buying into the Fultz hype machine, or are you well, just waiting to see? I can't buy into it. I mean, we've seen flashes of him in the preseason. I can't buy into it till I actually see it. I mean, we haven't seen this kid since he's coming to the league but play a, a handful of games. I mean, yeah, he's come out here, made a few buckets, made a few dunks, but we got to see this throughout the course of a season. I mean, the preseason, I don't know. Looks, like I said, flashes, but... The, the two things for me see it. are, one, regardless of whether he can shoot or not, that has no bearing on his ability to play defense, his ability to drive to the basket, to continue to be dynamic. That was one of the things I saw in Philadelphia. He used to get, you know, kind of crushed a little bit because he wasn't hitting a shot, so everything else kind of uh, deteriorated. The other thing is Orlando doesn't have a lot of depth in the backcourt. Mm -hmm. They're a team with a lot of bigs. Last offseason they went out and got more bigs. I don't know why. but So there's opportunity for them. They, there's I'm a need. still curious to what the injury was. Like, what was it? Here. I, that's what I I'm think. saying. So, like, Here. it was no real – I mean, I don't but, know. But that's why – okay, but that's why Steve Clifford said exactly what he said. Because you've got a kid who's dealing with some confidence so you issues pump it up. on the floor. So, you've got to pump it up every chance you get. So, I, I understood why he said what he said. But I don't think he even believes what he said in the moment. You're Shocking still, for an NBA coach, huh? You're still a coward. Oh, get like, out oh, of here. I'm going to fan it this way. I, I mean, come on now. Markel Fultz is the ultimate. Which way does it go right now? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+. Plus.